In the mid-1970s, Erno Rubik invented the Rubik's Cube, but that doesn't mean he knew how to solve it. It took him a few months to figure it out. By the time the first World Rubik's Cube Championships were held in 1982, the winner, he could solve the cube in a little less than 23 seconds. And these days... Well, there's a new world record holder in our area, and he's only in high school. This teenager, Colin Burns, solving a Rubik's Cube in 5.253 seconds. It's worth noting there are two types of world records. The way speed cubing competitions work is that volunteers will scramble the cubes according to instructions that are generated by a computer. So the competitors all get the same scramble. They do five solves and their three middle scores are averaged. Pop culture treats the Rubik's Cube like some sort of IQ test, but it's not. Understand the design of the puzzle. At first glance, it looks like it's a cube made out of cubes, right? Three layers of nine. But if you look closer, you'll see there aren't actually any cubes here. So that tells you that the corners will always be corners, the edges will always be edges, and the middle pieces determine the color of that face. But the real key to their speed is efficiency. So there are 43 quintillion possible arrangements for the cube. A few years back, some researchers borrowed computing power from Google to find out that any scramble can be solved in 20 moves or less. They call it God's number, but humans just aren't that good. The beginner's method that I learned uses 100 to 200 moves. Speed cubers use more around 50 to 60 moves. And they can do that in part because of the knowledge gained by the previous generation of speed cubers. When the cube first spread around the world back in the 80s, people had to learn through trial and error. This was happening in a lot of math departments and campus clubs. People were discovering the cube at the same time and they were sharing what they learned. The method that Colin uses was developed by Jessica Friedrich. She's an engineering professor who was a college student at the time. The Rubik's Cube has made a comeback in recent years along with that same ethic of sharing tips and strategies. So all the resources you need are there. There's just one other thing. Practice. This is Colin nearly five years ago. World records are not built in a day. <laughs>